Good morning. It's Teresa. Keto fat girl no more. I'm sorry. I've been a little um, MIA. I've been sick all week. And you can probably tell in my voice it's still a little raspy. Um, I caught a cold or something. or I really don't know if it's a cold or if it's allergies, but I feel like poop. But anyways, I'm sitting here waiting in the car waiting for my daughter. So I decided I would make a video. Because I normally do my little check-ins and let you guys know what my macros have been and stuff. But actually the, the last couple of days I haven't even hit my macros. I've been eating like eight or 900 um, calories a day. And I haven't been making anything at all. I've been doing terrible. I haven't been eating anything bad or overeating. I've just not been hitting my macros. Because I, I, it's the end of the month and I didn't have a whole lot of food to take with me when I went to go stay with my husband. So I pretty much just had cheese, salami, pepperoni, and a couple cans of chicken. And that was really it. So um, yesterday and um, the day before I had a skillet pizza with uh, pepperoni and salami. And then yesterday I had a couple of little of the little florets of broccoli that were fresh. Um... So I cut them up and I fried them up with some a couple cans of canned chicken and some cream cheese and whipping cream and some seasoning and um, me and my husband ate that for dinner. So I've been trying to stay on top of my liquids and drinking my Soli water of course to keep my electrolytes up but I've just um, not really been too hungry only eating because I knew I needed I had to um, but just not feeling too good. But other than that, I just spent the last couple of days um, with my husband while he was at work. Um, I hung out with Brittany and Josh, and you guys saw the videos of them singing and playing the piano. I wish I could play the piano like them. Wow, they're amazing. I, I've, I played the organ when I was a little girl, but I didn't stick with it. I only played it until maybe I was about 12. I think the sixth grade was the last year I played it. I've always sang in choirs, but I've never played an instrument. I always wanted to. Um, my oldest daughter played the piano for a little while. My youngest daughter, she played the violin for about four or five years, and then she decided she didn't want to do that anymore. So now she's getting ready. We, uh, My brother gave her a, a keyboard, so we got to get her some lessons. She wants to learn how to play the piano. She wants to learn how to play the guitar, so we got to get her a guitar still. And... I think she said the ukulele. I can't remember. But anyways, you guys already seen her. She's, um, she loves music. She's, um, she picks up on stuff really quick too. So I think she'll pick up on the instruments really quick. Um, but anyways, I miss her so much and she's going to be pulling up in a couple of minutes. So I can't wait to see her. My hair looks horrible. I literally got out of bed and threw it up. And I don't know if y'all can see, but okay, I've told you before about my hair loss. It's gotten so bad. Um, since I started dieting, but it's so thin and all these new little baby hairs that are coming in are all gray. Can you guys see them? All the little baby hairs. They're all gray right around here. <laughs> I was like, it's okay. As long as my hair grows in, I don't care what color it is. <laughs> but anyways, I hope y'all are doing good. Um, I did post my video earlier for the meat collaboration. I wasn't able to put down everybody's, um, links. I'll do that later on when I go back to my mom's house because I have to do it on the computer. So I wasn't able to do it, but I was able to at least uh, load the video because I had it saved on my phone when I had, I had made it like last week sometime at the beginning of the week. So, but anyways, I can't, um, let me think, hold on a second. Okay. Sorry about that. So I've been thinking about doing a couple more videos on how to start keto because the first videos that I did, you know, was in the beginning when I first had started my YouTube channel and I've got so many people asking me for help and, but I have a couple of neat things I wanted to tell y'all. My one friend, her name is Sharice. She goes to my church. She's been, I've been coaching her on keto for a little over a month and she's gained or she's lost, not gained. She's lost, um, over 20 pounds and this, I think I want to say it was yesterday, I got a message from her and she said that she wanted to let me know that she had messed up and she went out of ketosis um, last week, but um, but I know she had a lot going on um, 
with camp meeting and then her job and stuff. But anyway, so I mean, I everybody messes up at some point. So I totally get it. But her point in telling me was that because she messed up and she went out of ketosis that she felt like poop and all of her inflammation came back. All of her knee pain came back. Her allergies even came back. So she felt horrible. So she's like, now I totally understand, you know, that saying, you know, I eat to live. I don't live to eat. And she said, I understand that this way of living is so important. This way of eating is so important for, you know, my life. So I just thought that was a really cool victory for her. And then I also got a phone call the other day. I have a cousin that we've always gone on diets together. Her name is Susan. We've always gone on diets together over the years and we've always encouraged each other. And this is the first time that we didn't start a diet together. And I did this on my own for the last eight months I was dieting and I was just telling her about it and she watches my videos and sees my pictures on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. But she called me the other day and told me she was three days on keto and she wanted more information. And so I was really excited about that. So y'all wish my cousin Susie, you know, happy wishes and that she does good. Um, cause I believe in her cause she's the type of person that when she gets determined to do something, she goes for it cause she's 46 years old. She went back to school and she got a job, um, as a medical assistant, but she went back to school to become a nurse and she's, she's a mom with three kids. They're all, they're all, two of them are teenagers and one of them's an adult, but two of her kids still live at home. And then she has her husband and she's working full time and then going to school full time and, and then she's going to start keto at the same time. So I'm just really, really proud of her. I just thought that was so cool. So anyways, oh yeah, one other thing. It was cute the other day. Last week sometime, I get a, a message on Messenger from Sandy. From Sandy's Losing It. And she screenshots my YouTube channel. And she goes, I don't know if you know this or not. But you got 200 subscribers today. And I, I um, hadn't been paying attention. I hadn't been online. So I didn't notice. But I just thought that was really cute that she noticed and she told me. Um, but anyways, I, I when I started this channel, I didn't start this channel um, to get a bunch of subscribers or or whatever to become a famous YouTuber. Nothing like that. I just started it because uh, my family members and Joni from Keto Diamond talked me into doing it. Just I just mainly wanted to do it to encourage people, to help people because I saw that I had... I had um, started an Instagram page on, I want to say in January. Um, and I got, I got a lot of followers really quickly. I have like over 600 followers on there and some of them I know, but most of them are just either keto people or people that are trying to lose weight. And I saw that, you know, I was able to encourage people and I was helping people and it just made me feel so good. And I really felt like I could do more and doing the videos was really hard for me seeing myself on screen that was really hard for me because I've never liked looking at myself um in pictures I've always just felt so gross and fat and and so seeing myself on the videos was really rough and learning how to talk to the camera and just the whole thing was just really rough for me but I pushed through it I made myself do it and people started commenting and saying things and um subscribing to my channel and I mean I know my channel is really small and I don't know if it'll ever get big and that really doesn't matter to me just as long as I can encourage people and help people and then the lasting friendships that I've made on here um, I don't even want to start naming names because there's too many of you because there's people with channels and then there's people that just comment all the time that encourage me all the time but y'all know who you are the ones that are constantly commenting on my channel and that we talk on Facebook and Instagram. I just love you all. And I would have never made it this far without y'all. And my once again, the scale is doing the same thing. It's fluctuating. Um, I weighed myself over at my friend's house and it, it was, it was uh, 207. So it's going from 206 to about 208, just fluctuating every time I weigh myself. Now my mom's scale has broke and I'm fixing to go back to my mom's house. So... I'm going to have to just get some money and buy a scale because um, otherwise I won't know for sure. And I don't even know if my mom's scale was right because my mom's scale is weird. She had it like pushed to five pounds. She said that was what her scale, what her scale said she weighed at her doctor's office. So I really have no clue to how much I weigh. I know I'm really close to the 200 mark 
and I know every time I measure myself the inches are still you know coming off and I just feel like I'm not I'm not doing too good right now um, I of course I haven't been exercising still having problems with the sciatic nerve the last two nights though sleeping in that bed with my husband I didn't have to use the ice pack once so I did use it a couple times during the day but at nighttime I slept through the night and I slept really good and last night even though I'm sick I I did sleep really really good so but I'm going back to my mom so I'm gonna be sleeping on the floor again so we will see I I know my mom has a lot of ice packs so and I use them all <laughs> so but anyways I'm doing good I'm still alive y'all just sick but I hope y'all have a great day. What is today? Thursday. Hope y'all have a great day. I'm going to go babysit my grandkids today after I pick up, after I get my daughter. She should be here in a couple minutes. Um, I'm going to go babysit the grandkids and then head back to my mom's tonight. But I hope y'all have a beautiful Thursday. And um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Um, ring that bell. Share if you think I'm share worthy. And ring, oh, ring the bell if I didn't already say that. And y'all have a blessed day and enjoy your families. Bye-bye.